The white flag is raised. Off and running at the Dublin Racing Festival in the opening grade one, the Nathaniel Lacey and Partners Solicitors 50,000 euro Cheltenham bonus for stable staff, Novus Hurdle, over two and three quarter miles. They're at the first flight and over in front and taking it well, Manila Kakuna. Leads in the early stages, Eric Blood X and Hollow Games, tracked by Freedom to Dream as they go down the back straight to the second flight. Manila Kakuna in the hood goes along in the lead. Reaching the second flight, the end of the back straight is followed by Eric Blood X and Hollow Games. They're followed by on the inside is Braun with Freedom to Dream and Manila Kruner. And held up at the back of the field is Grand Jury. Coming across to flight number three before the straight. The leader is Manila Kakuna, Danny Mullins in a white cap is closely followed by Eric Bloodaxe and Brian Cooper. In third is Hollow Games and Davy Russell. The pace is steady. On the inside is Freedom to Dream and Kevin Sexton and then Manila Kruner and Jack Kennedy in pale colors. Bron Paul Town in last but one and bringing up the rear is Grand Jury and Rachel Blackmore. At the third, of 11 flights and it's Manila Kakuna with a narrow advantage over Eric Bloodaxe as they come into the straight to flight number four, being followed by Hollow Games, the red cap. On the inside is the nose bandit Freedom to Dream as they enter their final two miles, and then Manila Kruner, Braun, and Grand Jury. On to flight number four, and the final flight next time, and the Nathaniel Lacey and partner solicitors, Novus Hurdle. Manila Kruner, Kukuna is joined by Eric Bloodaxe with a couple of lengths to Hollow Games on the inside, Freedom to Dream, and then Manila Kruner, Bron Grand Jury. Little changes in the order of running as they come up to the winning post. A circuit to go and seven flights left to jump. Manila Kukuna and Eric Bloodaxe matching strides. Less than two lengths in front of Hollow Games. And fourth is Freedom to Dream and then Manila Kruner. Couple of lengths to Bron and Grand Jury. Away they go to flights five and six, taking them inside the halfway stage. And little between Eric Bloodex and on the rail Manila Kakuna, two lengths behind them, both Freedom to Dream and Hollow Games. And then Manila Kruna, Braun and Grand Jury. On to the next flight. And Manila Kakuna has re-established a couple of lengths advantage over Eric Bloodex, then Freedom to Dream, just showing in third from Hollow Games. After Hollow Games is Manila Kruner. On the inside is Braun, who's been obviously enough the last couple of flights, and the back marker is Grand Jury. Good run before they reach the first of the flights in the back straight as they head for the 10 furlong point in Manila Kakuna and Danny Mullins back three in front of Eric Blood in second and third is Freedom to Dream and then Hollow Games and Manila Kruner, Braun and Grand Jury. Order still pretty much unchanged, heading into the back straight to the nine furlong point with five flights left to jump in the opening two and three quarter mile. Nathaniel Lacey and partners solicitors, 50,000 euro Cheltenham bonus for stable staff, Novus Hurdle. And coming back is Manila Kakuna, reeled in once more by Eric Bloodaxe. Two and a half lengths to Freedom to Dream, disputing third place with Hollow Games, and then Manila Kruner, Braun, and Grand Jury. Passing their point of departure, just over seven furlongs to go. Heading to the center flight in the back straight. No changes up front. It's Manila Kakuna continuing to show the way to Eric Bloodax, who's been a handy second throughout. Got that flight wrong, Eric Bloodax. Then Freedom to Dream. Squeezed for a stride or two and going up in between horses as Hollows Games, who's followed by Manila Kruner, Braun, and Grand Jury. Last flight in the back straight three from the finish. Manila Kakuna. Attempting to make every inch of the running, Eric Bloodaxe, again a slight mistake with Hollow Games going up in between horses, Freedom to Dream the inside, and then Manila Kruner, Braun and Grand Jury. Coming out of the back straight with two flights left to jump. Manila Kakuna, two and a half in front of Hollow Games, who's moved off in pursuit. Freedom to Dream and Eric Bloodaxe has dropped a bit of ground. They're followed by Manila Kruner, Braun and Grand Jury. They've tightened up considerably. They're coming towards the second last. Manila Kakuna with a small advantage. Looming is Hollow Games. Then Eric Bloodaxe who's wrestled back to third. Freedom to Dream's on the inside of Manila Kruner and close in behind both Braun and Grand Jury. Coming to the 
the second last. Manila Kakuna joined by Hollow Games. They're over together. Two in front. Braun on the inside. Gain ground in the air. Moves after them on the inside. Of Freedom to Dream. Ridden along is Manila Kruna. And then Grand Judy and Eric Bloodax has dropped away tamely. Still in the lead is Manila Kakuna. And is back three in front of Hollow Games. Freedom to Dream's on the outside of Braun. And then Manila Kruna who's trying to pick up. But it's Manila Kakuna. Manila Kakuna is five in front. Coming to the final flight in the Nathaniel Nation partner solicitors, novice hurdle. Manila Kakuna is clear from Hollow Games. Manila Kruna is running on on the outside and then freedom to dream. But it's Manila Kakuna and Danny Mullins all the way in the opening grade one of the afternoon. Manila Kakuna takes a big step forward beating Manila Kruna. Kakuna and Kruna first and second. Hollow Games in third clear from freedom to dream. First blood to Team Mullins here at the Dublin Racing Festival. Manella Kakuna has won. Danny Mullins in the saddle. Danny, this horse is nothing if not an enthusiast. When did you know you'd harness that enthusiasm in the right way today? I taught when I was swinging out of the back straight the second time. It's jumping and took a few lengths out of field all the way down the back, but once he allowed me just to steady up a bit there, Davey moved up on hollow games, and you know, Davey's a very tactical rider as well, you know. We weren't going to take each other on too soon. Once I started to lengthen off the home turn, this lad's class really kicked in. Is he a little bit better than perhaps we'd been giving him credit? On that performance today, you know, he'd have plenty of options. He travels, he jumps so fast, he stays. He could come back and trip, he could go out and trip. Uh, it's just a, the sign of a decent horse and fantastic performance today and possibilities of building on it more. You mentioned he could go either way trip-wise. He doesn't look to the eye like a slow horse, but to what extent is that because you're against rivals who probably are thorough stayers? They are, but you know, the way he gets so fast from A to B over a hurdle, that gives you, you know, a lot of options. In races over a shorter dis distance, they'll be going a bit quicker and he'll even settle better. So that'll leave a little bit more petrol in the tank, you'd hope, at the business end. But staying is no issue to him as well. And sometimes horses who, who wear that hood, they can just finish off a, a little weekly. Not so in this case. Do you dream about the day when that can, can come off and you can really unleash this horse? Happy with, when he's winning with it on. I won't worry about it coming off. He, no, he's, he's good. You know, Willie wanted to put the hood on him today and, you know, another genius move that's got the job done. And in terms of getting that first grade one of the, the whole festival under, under your belt, how, how does that feel? It's been an amazing season for you. It's been a great season. You know, I'm just lucky that I'm riding a lot of good horses. There's a great team at home in Willys and the, there's a lot of other yards that I ride for as well and they make my job easy. Danny, well done. Thank you. Cheers.